is 2023. If you are following a religion in 2023, what are you doing? You must know by now that you should be studying all religions, find the syncretisms, and understand that they all say pretty much the same thing metaphysically. And you need to evolve from that. Stop being brainwashed. Religions have been recreated and redefined to control you. You need to ascend above it. It's simple. You are the Christ. You are God. You are an expression of God. God is all-knowing. You are all-knowing. You have intuitive discernment. You just have to tap in. You have to turn inward. You have to do the work. Listen, they, they project all this Christianity, Christ thing, and it's hogwash. Like, you start to wake up. I went to church since I was a child. For almost 30 years, I went to church. I studied biblical rhetoric. And I was even running around telling people, only Jesus can save you. But no, Jesus is not going to come down and save you. They want you to think that, so you keep your fat ass on the couch, and no one come, and you just sit there. And then every time something happens with the government, you come and you allow them to shove their arm so far up your ass, it works your mouth like a puppet. Okay? You need to save yourself. Stop waiting for Jesus. Get off your ass. Do the inner work. Do something about it. Stop reciting scripture. If you believe in the Bible, then you must believe that we are born out of incest. The Bible literally promotes slavery. It doesn't condone it at all. Like, there's so many parts of the Bible that contradict what we experience. And they're like, well, everything that's happening is in Revelation. Listen, the Bible has been rewritten, and it is the government's manifesto. You need to wake the French toast up. I want to cuss so bad. Wake up, please, for the love of all that is holy. Okay? People are like, you, you need to get in tune with Jesus. I did it for 30 years. Okay? I watched my auntie do Bible study and, and praise Jesus. She was the most kindred spirit I've ever met. I literally spent day and night with this woman. She had rheumatoid arthritis, and she believed that Jesus would come down here and heal her. And she ended up passing away from like a blood clot. Or she had an aneurysm, but she passed away, and Jesus didn't come. You don't understand how detrimental that was to me. I spent day and night with her doing Bible study all the time. And I watched this woman pass away, perish, and know Jesus. And then I find out that Jesus isn't even his name. His name's Yeshua, if he did exist. And it's like you learn all of these contradicting things, but that element of consciousness is so eroded into your life, that is what we're fighting. We are fighting a, a pandemic of improper ways of thinking mixed with a consciousness that cannot accept change. Regardless if the truth is right in front of you, smacking you in your face, tap dancing you in your face, doing a whole charade, giving you pop-up pictures, mazes, little little clues in all the movies and films. It doesn't matter what it is. It does, it's right there in your face. But no, I want to be left-brained and stay in the same freaking place I've been in the last 10 years of my life. I want to work a 9 to 5. I want to give 10% of my money to a church. I want to do these things because it makes me feel better. Listen, I'm telling you. The brainwashing needs to stop, and we need to come together, and there is an opposition. There is a collective that is working against us consistently. They're trying to take our rights. They're coming for our potential. They're coming for everything that makes us who we are, let alone, not to mention, they are doing shit, and literally, so much things I want to say right now, but I'm not going to because I know it's censored. And this is why it's important for you to enroll into the Celestial University when the application comes because I'm going to have a community. It's like a Facebook community on the app where I'm not censored and I can say the things that I want to say because it's obvious what's going on. But people lack a fucking spine. You lack a spine to do what you need to do. That was a rant. But yeah, thank you. Hi. How's everybody doing? I'm sorry. I literally was just whoo.